Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matthew 5 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. So we have here the continuation of our lesson on measure of central tendency about arithmetic mean. combination or combined arithmetic mean. So as we know that this is just the uh, combination of all the arithmetic means. Okay, so like uh, in the definition, a combined arithmetic mean can be calculated with the means and the number of the members or items in each separate group of data are found. So meaning to say that we need to know also how many members or the respondent who uh, join that uh, like uh, that uh, server or what to get the arithmetic mean. Now we have here the formula. So as you can see here in our slide, we have here again the x bar for the arithmetic mean, and we have a c for combination, or x the x bar with a c is a combined mean, and we have there n one number of items in the first set, and we have there the mean of the first set plus the second set, the third set, etc divided that by the number of set, the sum of the number of set, okay? So that's the usual way that uh, how we can calculate the arithmetic mean. Now we have the example. Oops. This one. So we have your survey in English proficiency in grade 11 reported from three different schools. So namely we have here school A, school B, and school C. So for uh, each school, we have here the respondent. Uh, there are for school A, there are 23 students who join, who are tested, and the average mean was uh, 82. For school B, there are 57 students having their uh, mean of 63, and uh, there are for for school C, there are 45 students who were tested, and their mean score was 77. So we're going to figure out what is the mean score of all of these students having this uh, score mean for every school. Now using the formula, so we have there the formula. So we have there the first set would be school A. Now uh, student, the number of student would be the number of uh, respondent, like the N, the value of N. And we have the mean score, which is the X bar for the first set. And uh, for school B for the second set, so this is the N2, the number of respondent, and this is the, the, the X bar for number two set or second set, and we have here the third set. Now we can substitute that to our formula. So we have there uh, the respondent, there are 23 students, then the uh, mean for that group or school A, then the school B, where's the cursor, and score, uh, school C. And we have here the uh, sum of all the respondents. Nah? So, so this is the sum of all the respondents. We have the first set, second, and the third set. Just combine this, multiply, and add them together. So we got this one. And uh, we sum up, we got 8,942 divided by 125, which is the sum of all the respondents. That would be the combined arithmetic mean is 71.54. Okay? So as simple as that. So the usual way that we're that we are uh, doing and how to get the arithmetic mean and only here is we uh, get also the number of respondent okay now we go to the next one if you don't have any question this one uh, the following are means of their way to join different sports in a university so these are the sports we have here basketball volleyball football baseball okay and uh, Frequency, there are 12 people, okay, 12 people who join the sports, 10 for volleyball, football, and baseball, 12 people, nah? and these are the average uh, weight, the mean weight of, uh, that, uh, of that people who join at basketball, volleyball, football, and baseball. So we have here 70 kilograms, 68 kilograms, 75 kilograms, and 70 kilograms, okay. So we're going to figure out again what is the combined arithmetic mean for this. For all of these people, these are the respondent. Na? These are the respondent and these are the average mean for every sports that they join. Okay? 
So using again uh, the formula, we have there the formula of the combined arithmetic mean, and we just simply substitute. So this will be the value of n. This is the number of respondent who join the sports. Okay, and this is the average mean or the mean for every sports. So we substitute that. We have there. So you have 12, then 70, 10, then 68, 15, then 75, then 12, then 70. And we have 12, 10, 15, and 12 again. Okay? So you use all the way, we multiply this, and we get the sum, and we divided that. We have there. And we divided that by 49. That's the total number of respondent. All of this, the frequency. So we got the X bar, or the combined arithmetic mean, to be 71.12. Very simple, right? Did you understand my question? Do you have any question? No, okay. Thank you very much. Now we go to the next one. Okay, so we have here our third example. We have here the following are the average score of the different group of students. Okay, so we have here the three groups. Group one, group two, group and group three. Okay, so for group one, there were 50 students. And their average score was uh, 55. And group 2, there were 45 students. And their average score was 60. And for group 3, uh, there were 53 students. And they got the average score of 46. So we're going to figure out what is the combined arithmetic mean for this group of students from group 1 to group 3. Now, again, using the, the formula, we have here the formula here. Oops. Okay, we have there the formula. So you have there x bar. The combined x bar or the combined arithmetic mean is equal to the uh, sum of the average mean and the, the product of the average mean and the number of respondents. Okay, and divided by the, the sum of the respondents. Okay, and we substitute that to our formula. So we have there 50, then 55. Then we have there 45 and 60, we have 53 and 46, and we have the respondent 50, 45, and 53. Okay, so we multiply this, we have that 2750, 270, and 2438 divided by 148, and we divided that, we got 53.3. Okay, so meaning to say that this is the average mean that we'll get for every respondent. For all the respondents, for all the 148 respondents, they will have the average score of 53.3. Okay? So like for group 1, it's not only 55. It's not only 60 for group 2. It's not only 46 for group 3. But if you will consider the, the combined, altogether, combined student, combined student of 148 students, right? So their average score will be 53.3. Nah? So if you will consider all of them, but if you will consider just by group, then for this student alone, their average score is 55. For group 2, for 60. For group 3, is 46. But if you will consider all of them, nah, join together, combine them together as 148 respondent or students, then... Their, their average mean will change to 53.3. Nah? Okay, my. So you will see that, uh, you will see from group 1, uh, first is 55, but the, it goes to 53. Because of this, 46. Because group 3 having 46, so it can pull down nah? the data, the average score. So 46 will go up because of this. So they will meet all of them. 55, 60, 46, they will meet in the middle. Nah? They will meet in the middle. So that's why 53.3 is, is the middle or the average mean for all of these average scores nah, with this number of respondents. Did you understand my question? So again, for, for the combined arithmetic mean, we need the respondent or the number of items. Just like this one, the number of students who joined the, the, the survey. Nah? And we need that one, that's the value of N, and we need also the average score, okay? Together, you're going to multiply that so that every every uh, student will count as one of the average score. Nah? Question. 
Okay, so I hope that all of you understand this topic about the combined arithmetic mean. And uh, we're going to have a new topic again, a new topic about the uh, measure of central tendency. So see you. Bye-bye.